And before we get started, shout out to Evan from Costco. Nice to meet you, kid. Bad Act Bourbon says hello. All right, peeps. Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. What do we got in store for you today? We got Old Forester Bottle in Bond. Got a little story about a man named Jed. Old Forester, 1897, bottled in bond. Got a mash bill, uh, 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley. Right, so aged four years. Of course, alcohol content, 50% because it's bottled in bond. It's 100 proof, right? So this I've seen in stores on the internet from 55 to 65 bucks. I had a poll on my Instagram. People told me to buy it because I got it at Costco in my hometown for $42.99. I said, yeah, I'm probably gonna buy it anyway, no matter what the poll says. But I went ahead and bought it. The poll said to do it, so I did it. All right, I went along with the poll. So let's get into it. Let me open this sucker up, right? All right, so let's get into it, all right? Yeah, baby. All right, let's see what this pop. Let's see if this has a pop. That's decent. That's decent. I'm, I'm not going to say it was awesome, but it was good. And it's got a real cork. Hear that, Barstown? Real cork. Right on. All right. So, I'm not getting a whole bunch, actually. Let me get in there, Glenn. Looks a little light so far. So far, it looks a little light. Coppery amber color, you know. Ah, you know what? Now it's looking a little darker. You know, maybe it's just a lighting in here. It, it looks fine. It looks fine. You yeah, know, little coppery amber color. So we're good. We got on the nose here. Oh, it's too. It's, of course, it's Old Forester Brown Forman, so it's, dude, I just felt like I shoved a banana up my nose. <laughs> Jeez. I never got, I never got so much banana on nose on my life. My goodness, I can smell a real banana. It would have less banana smell than this. Wow. I mean, it smells good. I don't know if I want that much banana transferred over to the palate, but... It smells good. That's, let me see if there's any other notes in there other than that banana. And it's not a green banana, it's ripe. Uh, man, I'm, dude, I'm not getting a lot of other notes. I'm, I'm not getting anything else right now. Oh, let me swirl this sucker up a little bit more. Wow, I did not. That is straight bananas foster. Like super sweet banana. Wow, maybe a little vanilla, but that banana, sweet, sweet banana is so overpowering. Oh, maybe a little oak, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it, so I'm like, maybe a little, but that banana, I, dang, I know I said it like four times now, but there's so much banana on that. Well, going in for my first sip. Man, see if I get something other than a banana split. That is a lot of banana. And you know what, it's good. Ooh, ooh, got some nut in there. Bananas and nut. I mean, now I just need some chocolate sauce, some caramel, some ice cream, and have banana split. Because that is a lot of banana and a lot of nut on the back end. I'm trying to decide whether I like that or not. Wow, there, those two notes are so prominent. I can go another sip. 
some rice spice. I mean, so much banana, so much nut. Got some spice, a little bit of oak, a little, maybe a little char. I mean, it's not real thick. The viscosity is, is not there, really. Man, it's like some dried, like, frosted flakes or something, man. Like, you ever, when you were a kid, shoot, when I was a kid, like now, get some frosted flakes and put some, cut up some bananas and put it in there, mixed with some milk and ate it. That's pretty much what I'm getting right now with the nuts. They do have those with nuts on them. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know what? With a little bit of proof, this tastes like a bowl of those nutty frosted flakes with some bananas cut up in it. That's what this tastes like. That's what that tastes like. And I'm not saying that's bad. It's not my exact profile because I'm not getting a bunch of chocolate, not getting caramel, maybe a little vanilla for the sweetness, but that's some banana sugar nut. Yeah. Pretty prominent. Hopefully, you know, I mean, it's not bad. I, I would drink it, you know, and sip it with a buddy for sure. But, you know, I hope it calms down a little bit and hopefully get some more notes, you know, in a few days or, or a week or so now that it's been open. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Sweet on the tip, strong banana, maybe like the bad bananas, foster. Strong banana, the cornflakes for that sweetness, but that dry flake uh, with the banana. And some nut on there. That's what I'm getting. So, I mean, I'm gonna go, I mean, it's good. I mean, I'm, it, that's, people are gonna buy this because they like that profile. It's super prominent in the profile, but when you buy it all force or brown horn pots, you know you get that profile. So, that being said, we're gonna go get some axes for it. We're gonna go, it's above average for sure, it's good. But I'm going three and a half axes. Three and a half axes. Three and a half axes. All right. That's all I gotta say about that. So, that's it for this episode. What do we say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is a bad axe. I'm Bobby, thanks for watching. Till next time. Oh, 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 oh,